cable making comes in many different forms and many different styles. Uh, our cables um, can be high volume repetitive cables, standard designs, millions of meters, the same thing, or at the ex other extreme, low volume manufacturing. That's just how I've chosen to split cable manufacturing, just to try and make it a little bit simple for today for this presentation, because it does impact on how we manage materials. In a high volume environment, it's very price competitive. So uh, there's a strong need to manufacture towards the bottom end of specifications wherever possible and to engineer cost out of our designs and out of our manufacture. These are also typified by long runs with few changeovers that still need to be slick and efficient uh, in their wastage of materials, but they're less frequent than in the other type of manufacture. Uh, often they're in standard lengths, either in a single manufactured length or many drums cut from a single length. Uh, but we can still end up with uh, leftovers and pieces at the end in terms of scrap. Um, they are usually typified by minimum left minimal leftover materials between processes because we tend to run out the copper, run out the plastic, run out the aluminium, start a new batch. So we don't tend to have that much waste on materials, but you could on conductors. High volume manufacture really does set itself up for frequent uh, for statistical analysis and standardized approach and automation. And I know many of you invest in those things, but we should be really thorough analyze, analyzing our statistics absolutely on top of our material usage, our overusage, and our scrap in a high volume environment. 